Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and people have continuously asked about the video for weight gain. How not to be underweighted, how to increase our weight. In this video, I'll be sharing with you which herb to use, what kind of exercises to be done and what kind of diet to follow. So it will be a complete guide. But before moving forward, you have to understand types of people why a particular person is thin why not everyone is thin this is because of our constitution in ayurveda we call it prakriti in modern medical science it is said constitution so according to the modern medical science they say a person can be ectomorphic endomorphic mesomorphic in ayurveda we say a person can be vata pitta or kapha will not make the things complex will explain you in very simple language vata means air means thin people who have more air in their bones that's why their bones are lighter more air in their body that's why their body is lighter these people are thin of thin frame from their childhood so these people have problem in increasing their weight I will tell you how to increase your weight in the right way but don't expect to increase lots of weight and don't expect a vata person to be like a kapha person kapha person is a person who just eats a little bit and gets fat very fast how a vata person can look more beautiful more healthier this I will share with you what this person has to do first of all exercises what kind of exercise if you are thin you want to look bulky you have to do weight training means try to work out with the weights what will happen if you will do weight training your muscle size will increase if your muscle size will increase your weight of the body will increase because it will be the increase in your muscle weight and your body will look much better because now you have more muscles in your body so doing weight training is gonna help you don't do lots of cardio if you want to increase your weight yes cardio is good but not lot of for this kind of person only if his goal is to increase the weight now about the diet Ayurveda says to follow vata diet don't worry about vata diet i will try to put the link down below just click and see what is vata diet what are the products to be consumed in this diet not so heavy or very hard diet just you have to eat the food that are rich in carbohydrates means bananas potatoes rice these kinds of stuff i'm not saying not to eat fat and protein yes you have to eat fat and protein also but little bit more carb will help you in weight gain that is what you want now about the herbs which herbs to be considered first is ashwagandha ashwagandha you can take in the powder form one teaspoon two times in a day empty stomach if you are not comfortable empty stomach then you can consume it 30 minutes after your food you can mix it in warm milk and drink it warm milk with ghee clarified butter in it and turmeric in it plus ashwagandha in it very good combination you can drink it plus you can add the shatavri also an herb you can add ashwagandha one teaspoon shatavri one teaspoon in a glass of warm milk and you can drink one or two times in a day if you are drinking at night yes you can drink it before your bed means one hour or 40 minutes before sleep you can drink it it will help you in sleep also and will help you in weight gain also this is gonna happen only if you are doing exercises you're working on your strength the weight training you are doing you are eating the vata diet then these herbs will help you now talking about the underweight children first of all if your child is underweight don't get panic first of all see if he is healthy or not maybe it's just genetics maybe the child has vata constitution so your worries are not going to change anything if the child is healthy and the child is underweight then maybe with the time the things will be better the only thing is you have to feed the child 
well how a child is going to gain the weight if his metabolism is working good whatever you are feeding the child body is using all this this will help don't get panic don't do anything wrong don't try to force feed your baby this will worsen the condition what should be done you can give anything that's better for metabolism there are many ayurvedic syrups in the market the only aim is that the child should have good digestion second thing that can be done is feeding the baby with banana rice milk these kinds of stuff again see the vata diet and take the food stuff from that diet the link is in the description box and try to feed those stuff to your child and this can also help the ayurvedic herbs like brahma rasayana it's in paste that can be given but i generally recommend it from 4 years to 12 years of kids lower than this age i can't give just the recommendation on internet over here it can be risky so it's better to concern to an ayurvedic doctor near to you the general recommendation whatever i am giving about kids over here i am cherry picking them and i am giving which will not harm any of the baby any of the kid so these are the general recommendations for kids feed well vata diet good digestion these things will help and the time is required don't worry only thing is don't forget to give vitamin d3 to your baby if you are not able to get your baby in the sun then you have to give vitamin d3 in ayurveda it is said that if you have the option between being thinner and being fatter choose to be thinner because a thinner person is healthier in comparison to the fatty person in ayurveda it has been written 5000 years back that both of these conditions are not good for our body but if we have to choose one then thinner person is healthier than a fatter person so don't go crazy you can achieve these goals just be patient do whatever i have said in these videos these recommendations are surely going to help you do it at least for one year and you'll see the results the only thing is to do it for one year eat right do exercises smile more don't be in stress stay happy stay healthy